sports broadcaster Bob Costas thinks the reason WNBA player Angel Reese didn't get as much attention as Caitlin Clark when she was fouled was because hers was a black on black incident. Let's watch. The reason why that doesn't spark as much conversation isn't just that Caitlin Clark is a bigger star than Alyssa Thomas. It's because it's a black on black incident. Wow. And you don't well, have you, you don't have it. you don't have you, that dynamic that people yes. can comment on. Yes, but also exaggerate and make the entire story. Now, in case you missed it, this is the flagrant foul on WNBA star Caitlin Clark that the Internet blew up over. And Clark. I mean, that's clearly... Now, view co-host Whippy Goldberg. She had a very different take on the matter. <laughs> okay, let's, let's be realistic, okay? This is basketball, okay? This happens in basketball all the time. Angel Reese got what, a clothesline the other day. I mean, this is, you know, these, these are not like, <laughs> here's the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. get out the way or I'm going to move you. That's what the game is. All right, what's interesting about that is I saw a long Twitter thread. I'm so sorry. I'm not a big sports no. person. Robbie isn't either. You're in good company here I if can. you're not as well. But I have taken some interest mm. in this particular incident, and I did see one um, kind of sports commentator do a long thread about how there's a, a tradition, frankly, mm. of when there is a really hyped-up um, newcomer to the league, to the NBA, where there's very high expectations for them, um, they get kind of mm -hmm. picked on in this sure. exact way. And he went through all of the stats of um, high draft pick individuals mm -hmm. during their first year or so, and looked at how many times they um, drew, uh, how many like I think foul shots they were able to take mm -hmm. because they had drawn these fouls, and basically said, well, this is a pattern of events, and what's really going on here isn't you know racial. Caitlin Clark isn't being treated unfairly only insofar as this should be a compliment because everyone expects her to do really well, right. and that's why everyone's taking shots at her. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think that it's not totally clear to me in a way what Bob Costas, whether he's been rightly uh, denigrated for saying something dumb or whether he's actually making an argument that heavy falls against black players don't actually get as much attention as they deserve. Well, I mean, you, I could, so you could read that both ways. I'm slightly biased because although I'm not a big sports fan, I do think Bob Costas is a very good broadcaster, but he may just have said something dumb. It's not well, clear I, to me. Actually, look, again, so sorry for those of you who are very big sports fans who are very frustrated with us not having more um, institutional knowledge about this. But it, I do think there's something to the amount of attention being played to mm. Caitlin Clark being right. fouled, being large and maybe even excessive because the optics are of a black woman mm -hmm. pushing a white woman to the ground, mm -hmm. and white women tend to be treated with in, in the public sphere as more vulnerable mm -hmm. and delicate and you know susceptible to harm in a way that when black women are. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many videos have we seen of police officers entering schools and wrestling mm -hmm. black 14-year-old girls to the ground and pulling and have their skirts up over their head? And there was that famous video years ago of a, a little black child being dragged away from a swimming pool with her bathing suit being torn every which way. I mean, and, and many people look at those things and don't see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Black children are often treated, you know, perceived as adults by the police. Um, treated as adults by the criminal justice system are, are understood in kind of studies to be thought of as older than they are when people are asked to judge their age. You know, all of this, I think, is part of why there might be more of a shocking reaction mm -hmm. to a, a white woman, Caitlin Clark, being fouled versus a black woman being fouled. I, I do think that there's something there. No, and I do think that the cross currents of, of race and gender and sport are really Interesting. I mean, as you were talking, I was actually just thinking n not only of all the instances you described of how black women and girls tend to be described in a particular way, but I mean, Serena Williams, to take the most famous, yes. you know, black female sports star of her generation, often spoken about or written about in a way that ha seems to me to have very clear, not only racial undertones, but sort of racial stereotypes mm -hmm. about being mannish, aggressive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and even, you know, more unpleasant stuff than that, obviously, on the fringes of, of the internet in particular. Like, the, the, the way that the combination of athleticism and race and gender all intermingle together is really interesting. So in Caitlin's 
Caitlin Clark's case, um, it's not that she's the beneficiary of that as such, but it, she is in, a, in an unusual position and those dynamics, I think, perhaps played out in the coverage of that particular Yeah, and, and, and to your point, uh, that she is not, it's not her fault, but that she, she's mm -hmm. the beneficiary of it. Caitlin Clark, I think, has been handling, handling herself really beautifully mm -hmm. through all of this. I don't think this has anything to do with her behavior. Nothing here is her fault. Right. And, you know, I, I want to credit her for that. This really is about kind of the commentariat mm -hmm. and whether or not, you know, there is, frankly, maybe some legitimate frustration with her from other black players also about how much attention mm. she's gotten despite not being the number one draft pick, right. despite the kind of the the game which went so viral and which she performed, she her team lost mm -hmm. and the and her and the blacker team mm -hmm. that beat them, not getting as much media attention or the calls to get invitations to the White House and all of right. those kinds of things. So to the extent that there is kind of a targeting that's maybe unfair or disproportionate of her on the field, is it really about black players bleeding up on white players or some maybe legitimate resentment yeah. about how much attention she's gotten that might be disproportionate, even though she's a very talented player, obviously. Right, and part of that goes to what is frankly the sort of marketability of whiteness sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, we are in a, admittedly in a moment where where that has become much less blatant than it was in the past. But I mean, if you go back more than a generation, I mean, the phrase the great white hope mm -hmm. refers to white boxers who were expected to defeat black boxers and therefore demonstrate or, or you know, whatever. You, yeah. you can, you can, you can <laughs> complete that yeah. thought from there. Yeah. And so there is still, I think, this sense of whenever it comes to someone like Caitlin Clark, it, it is that thing where, I mean, not to cite the Serena Williams example again, but where other players who were clearly inferior to Serena Williams had a, had bigger or more yeah. lucrative uh, endorsement deals. Yeah. Why, why was that? I mean, yeah. it's difficult to separate that out from the race yeah. issue. Well, she certainly got her comeuppance, yeah. and there's a long history in front of these young women, so we'll see what ends up happening with their respective careers and uh, endorsement contracts. That's all we've got for you today. I will be out tomorrow. Robbie will be back, and Niall will be sitting in this chair, so you get to see both sides of his handsome face <laughs> on this show. Uh, so do tune back in to Rising tomorrow. We will uh, also, you should remember to like and subscribe. You know you can get Rising anywhere you get your pod podcast. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.